Welcome back, my friends. This is Flash Fiction. I'm your host, Taylor Doty. I'm the host, younger brother, Brandon Doty. And I'm Sean Van Aller, one of the co-hosts. Most of the team has other obligations today, so it'll just be us three. And we are joined by uh, Sherry. Uh, you want to introduce yourself? I'm Sherry. Uh, I go by Cherry Cheetah. <laughs> I'm a writer. Poems, but they're not published yet. And I have a rock magazine called The Cheetah Press. All right. Do you want to talk about the Cheetah Press first before we get into the poems? Do you just want to start in the poems? Um, uh, well, the poems isn't that big of a deal since I'm not really published yet, but I can mm. talk about the poem first. All right. Do you want to read the poem? Yeah, I only have one. Oh, it's all good. Sorry about that. It's fine. Oh, um, also, I'm 21. Almost 22. Um, thanks for, like, having me on this. This is really cool. I've never done this before. <laughs> To be fair, this is relatively new for us, too. Hey, thank you for joining us. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yep. So, yeah, you can start the poem whenever you're ready. Um, okay. Uh, I wrote it for my mom, because it was her birthday a couple months ago, and it was like, her birthday's so close to Mother's Day as well, so it was like a, a joint thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay, it's called, uh, it's... Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at this. It's all good. <laughs> okay, uh... It just says, uh... Mom, you are the flowers that bloom, the sun that shines, the, wa the water in my tea, the sweater on my skin, the pillow beneath my head, socks on my feet, grass underneath. You make up my world, you made me in this world, I love you. That was an endearing poem. Yes. I'm like the most proud of that poem. It was for her. First wholesome poem we've had on the show. <laughs> Do you know like uh, who uh, Jack Kerouac is? The name sounds familiar, but I can't place it. He wrote On the Road. He's a part of like the Beat Generation. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Do you know who like, Charles Bukowski is? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like really into like poetry and stuff. <laughs> but those two guys, um, is kind of where I get my style from. Okay. And also just like, uh, you know, modern, like, you know, poet, poets and now, like Amanda Lovelace is really good. And, um, yeah. Okay. I got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which poet would you say is uh, most influential for your writing? Um, I feel like style-wise, Charles, Charles Bukowski, but only in style and not in subject. Um, the way he writes is just like it's like like basically you have to know what modern poetry is like now and then read his stuff and it's like the same thing but it, it, he wrote it decades before so it, it's this very like low case very clear cut kind of a uh, diary entry style way po poetry is very like it's less like um like a classic poet like you would read like Whitman or something and it's just more just very uh oh gosh I'm horrible at explaining this I'm sorry you have to just like read him <laughs> Just very modern, very just uh, clear and direct, and that, mm. and he influences me a lot. So, uh, unfortunately, our poet, our, our poet person isn't isn't here. Pat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good old Pat. Um. Do you know anything about the Beat Generation? Not too much, actually. I was going to ask, what is the Beat Generation? Sorry, I'm talking so much. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, you're, you're the, the guest here, so... Yeah, really? <laughs> kind of your job. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, the generation, I'm, like, so obsessed with this whole thing. It's, like, this literary movement from, like, the 40s that was, like, a group of, like, college guys who wanted just to make a new, like, literary, like, movement, like, of, like, poetry and stuff. But, and, like, they were, like, the original hippies. And they... It was just, it's so cool, and it's a whole thing, and it inspired, like, it inspired so much of, like, rock and roll, and that's, like, a 
played a big part of me too. And so, I don't know, it's so cool and there's so much to it and it's just like, um, yeah, I'm explaining this so badly. <laughs> I just think it's real, real neat and I'm really interested in it. Yeah, nice little history quid bid for the history people out there. <laughs> including myself. <laughs> So, as in the chat that you posted the link, would you like to talk about your, um, rock magazine Cheetah Press for us? Oh yeah, okay, uh, so, it's called the Cheetah Press, and it's an online rock magazine, uh, and it's, um, well, oh man, okay, so, there's some, there's a, a rock movement right now called New Rock Mafia, right? Taylor knows this, it, it knows what this is because I've told him about it, uh, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, but for those who don't know, I'll explain it a little bit. It's, um, made up of these three bands. Uh, Zig Vitality, they're like, like real, like, grunge and punk. They're kind of like Nirvana, they're so cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ray the Prince, uh, and Clear Patrick. And they're all like, you know, rock and punk, and they're just these three bands, and they're so and um, New York Mafia is a movement that like pushes like you know real like guitar driven rock music. You know they're trying to like bring rock back to a place where where it's real and not fake, not made up of bonies. And it's so good, so cool. cool. And everyone I've met, like it's not just those three bands. They're also they have a lot of friends who are also in bands who make amazing music and who are as kind and real as they are. So, um, I'm into them too, and basically the magazine is focused on New Rock Mafia, but the fans also associated with it, the whole, like, real culture that they're creating. And I just think it's all so cool, and I love it all so much. And I want to support, want to support them, you know, the best way I can. And my skills are like in like social media and writing, so I just combined that and the rock magazine was made. <laughs> so for the people looking for more information on all of this can find the link will be posted down in the description of this video. As well as the Instagram page and the Facebook page. Of our esteemed guests for tonight's video. Um, so I, I do have a question about this. So you said you, you said you do writing and it's about the Rock Mafia. Like, what do you write about? Um, well, I basically, I, you know, I write about the, I do reviews and stuff and I do interviews and, like, it just launched this earlier this month, so there's not much okay. on the site yet, but basically, um, I, some other writers we have, we just, you know, review and just interview the bands and stuff, review the music that gets released, you know, keep it, it all updated and stuff, and, like, right now, there's no live music, you know, we're literally in a global pandemic, there's no live music, but, um, you know, these artists, they're not stopping, they're still making music, they're still releasing stuff, and so the Cheetah Press kind of currently is just a uh, place of hope, of the belief that, you know, we're going to get through this and that we can make it through, you know, we can keep things going, you know, we can't let the hype die. And so that's like what um, I'm really trying to do and push with the magazine. <laughs> that answer, I feel like I went off in the tangent there. Uh, nah, it's fine. But yeah, no, that, that answered my question. I got a, I got another question for you. Yeah, I'll answer anything. <laughs> so, what was what was the first poet that uh, that you read that you really got into? Oh, um, I want to answer this. Okay, so when I was uh, seventeen, that was like when I I really got into poetry, and it was a uh, Rimbaud, Arthur Rimbaud. I'm probably saying his name wrong, <laughs> but he had this one poem that I really liked. It's called Romance, I think, or maybe it's called Novel, or maybe it's both of those names. I don't know. French translation is really weird. But when I was 17, I was like 
really into that poem and from that but I was also really into the beat so at the same time it was like all of that but it was both are involved to answer your question yeah okay he's now, this young French romantic era poet now would you say that uh that he influences any of your writing at all um I wouldn't say I mean maybe in the past when I was younger yeah but right now it's just mostly like Jack Kerouac and Charles Bukowski and like you know just really modern poet stuff it's like very simple and clear cut like Amanda Lovelace so um there was another question I had lined up for you as well that had to do with um the the cheetah press yeah because yeah. right now right now you said you write uh, about specific bands right yeah I write on like uh, the New York Mafia bands and associated acts like you know basically who was ever like a friend of like the three main bands like and that I really like and I think are actually good people who make good music I write about them like we have writers that covers their music reviews them and I just keep you know like keep the blog keep the you know the Instagram updated with whatever they're doing online and stuff so okay so my question with that is do you think that in the future you might expand on to other bands as well um yeah I mean we're always kind of doing that like it is focused on New York Mafia and the whole associate acts but it's also just basically anyone that's new in, and in rock and who I think is real uh like who plays like like you know heavy like hard rock is is uh focused on in the mag and then you know uh we also cover classic rock artists because I, I just love rock and roll like the whole 70s rock thing I love it and I think it's important that we you know uh, well, I can't think of the word, but, like, we just, you know, pay attention to what they're still doing now, because there's a lot of classic rock artists out there who are still making music and stuff and still doing that, so we cover that as well, and, yeah. Okay, well, I'm very interested in to see, seeing where else the Cheetah Press goes and looking into it more myself now that I, you know, just recently heard about it. Yeah, it's very new, very underground, you could say. Um, like, in the future, I have a lot of plans with it. Like, I, I want to do, once, like, music gets, uh, you know, back up again, I want to definitely, like, do more stuff with bands, like, photo shoots and stuff, and more interviews, and hopefully one day I can go on tour with some of these bands, and, you know, do, do that, and cover that, and stuff, you know, just do really big things. Thanks. Neat. I just love the music that they make so much, and I just want to do my best to support all these people because I love them and they're good people. So. Sounds amazing and <laughs> very exciting. Um. Thanks. <laughs> all right. So my my question here: how how would you say you got into the music era to where I guess basically what what about music led you to where you are today, for lack of a better... Wow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I do know, but that's, like, <laughs> a big question for me. Uh, oh, all good. Take your time. It's, um, it's fine. Yep. The good old origin story. Oh, man. <laughs> like, my whole entire life, my whole things have just been, like, books, writing, music, and, you know. Like, that's just been my whole thing, you know? Like, when I was, like, nine years old, the band I loved the most was, like, Fall Out Boy. And, and then, you know, from that point on, I just kept being obsessed with one band or another, but, like, really into them, like, like, you know, really just going as hard as I can to support all the bands that I loved, and it hasn't always been, like, rock music, rock or pop music. I had a really long K-pop phase in high school, but I, I love those bands just the same as I love all these other rock bands now, so... <laughs> But, yeah, I don't know. Music has just always been with me, and the whole writing thing and supporting them has always been with me, too. Like, And then, recently, in the past 
last year. Um, I was lucky enough to be given the opportunity to write for a different online magazine uh, called Buzzkill, and that's um, they they they're focused mostly on rock bands, like British ones. Um, but they let me write about like the new rock mafia bands for it, and uh, so I've done a gorgeous job with Buzzkill this year. But that inspired me to make my own rock magazine. And so I guess that's how I got here. <laughs> like, kept my entire life of support in all these bands. But, and then I could really, and then I was lucky enough to do Buzzkill. And that made me think, like, hey, I could turn this into my life. I could really be like a rock journalist and support all the bands I love in an official way, in a way that actually matters, you know? Yeah, makes Rather sense. Than just, like, having like a, a Twitter account or something like that. And so that's, you know, where the Cheetah Press came comes in. Like I Oh my gosh, I can't I'm like losing my breath here. <laughs> um but yeah, that's where the Cheetah Press came in. Uh you know, I just really wanted my own unique special way to support all the bands I loved. And yeah. That makes sense, and you know. Sorry, was that a lot? No, it's no, it's uh, no, no, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. I I actually have something else. All right, Sean, go ahead. Uh, since you brought up the old one you used to write there for, are are you still associated with them? Oh yeah, I'm still associated with them. Uh, actually, like the runner founder of that is my friend Emily. Okay. And, um, so I'm still a writer with her and friends and everything. And so, like, you know, I write for Buzzkill still. And, um, uh, oh my gosh, I'm planking now, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I still write with her, but the Cheetah Press, we call the Cheetah Press as, like, a sister magazine to Buzzkill. Like, I don't think you guys would know this reference, but... Any broad female fans listening, not fans, people, <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, like, the Cheetah Press is the sister magazine to Buzzkill, like, Bob is to Target Meat, or like, um, Team Vogue is to Vogue, if, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So, yeah, you know, they're related, but mine is like the younger, like, Buzzkill is like the classy, more mature, older sister. And the Cheetah Press is like the really outspoken punk younger sister. Fair enough. Okay. Good well, analogy. So I guess my my question with that is, for people who are listening who might be interested in learning more about Buzzkill as well, um, where would they go to find more on it? Um, well, I have an Instagram page as well as I do for the Cheetah Press. Um, I believe... It's just called Buzzkill Mag, or maybe Buzzkill Sign. I can just link you. <laughs> okay. So, but they're really cool too. Uh, you know, they're more like indie rock, a bit like softer than what I cover, but they're very cool too. Oh, but indie rock is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like. So much fun. <laughs> all the punk, it's like the punk scene completely moved to Canada. I'm telling you, all the, the hard rock, all the punk bands are in Canada right now, and they're great. I love them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you enjoy hard rock. Would, do you like any metal music at all? Um, does Metallica count? I mean, I like Rotten Shoe, but that's not really metal. Because, um, say if you are there in, I mean in Buffalo 
Buffalo specifically, I know a few uh, good bands there that, you know, might be hmm. more more what you're kind of looking for for here in New York. Maybe. Uh, you'll have to, like, send me the, the links to them and I can check, check them out. Who you think it? There's, like, a lot of pop punk bands here, but I'm just really not into pop punk at all, so. Hmm. Yeah. Yo, yeah, we'll definitely do that. Huh, Sean, I'm more curious. Who you thinking? Um, I was thinking of our, our good boys in the Legion. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Ashes and Inertia. Mm-hmm. Um, Mike Palmer 10. Okay. I don't know. I remember. <laughs> I was just, like I said, I'm just more, I was more curious than anything. Oh yeah, I just, uh, I should have talked about any of them. Oh, then we got some treats for you. Huh, <laughs> well that's also because there are like a lot of local bands in Buffalo and me and Sean both went to college in Buffalo, so we, we got to talk to them and meet them through the radio station when we were there. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, which, uh, that's another good way to find more indie rock. It's just listen to 94.3 FM WBMY. If you can. That's true. <sighs> There's certain apps. <sighs> There's, uh, like, Radio Garden and stuff like that. <sighs> yeah. Like, I actually wanted to major in radio or broadcasting. Like, actually, that's my whole goal, to get in working in radio, actually. So, hey, it's sure. just like, um... Uh, Want to give her any tips, Sean? Um, yeah, actually. <laughs> uh, so if, if you're going to go into radio and you really like writing, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like be like a rock journalist, really. <laughs> I definitely recommend, if they have a minor in it, uh, journalism. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to college. I can't afford that. Well, I mean, uh, just because it kind of relates to what you've been working on. No, I know. Believe me, I know. I almost went to college for journalism last year, but it just didn't work out, so. But it's okay. It's working out with, you know, it's Buzz Q and the Cuter Press, so I think I'm, I think I'm still going towards it, towards it so it's, it's okay. Well, there you go. Keep chasing the dream. Yeah. I have big plans and big goals with the Cheetah Press. It's kind of a two-parter. It's, it's cool. I mean, we've only been going for like 26 minutes. It feels like much longer because I've talked so much. <laughs> um, so I was going to ask you, when you when you first started, like, uh, you know, around how long ago you first started with Buzzkill and then... Um, following that when you first started up with Cheetah Press. Oh, you like, you want like a timeline. Oh, okay. Uh, I think, well, it's really just happened all this year. Like, my first piece was, 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 kill, <laughs> was published in February, and then it was towards the end of May, like mid-May, when I got the idea for the Cheetah Press. And decided to make that a thing, and then it was like late June. I think it was like June twenty-eighth when I launched the Cheetah Press, and so it's just been a really busy July. You know, I'm working on creating content for the magazine and stuff. We're in the very like first month of it all, but it's going really good so far. So, it's, so yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, you know, I haven't gotten to do an extensive look, but, uh, when, uh, I was checking out the Instagram, it looked like you've been pretty busy. Yeah, um, a lot of those posts, reviews and stuff have been written by me, and I do have playlist work and stuff, but I also have a bunch of other, well, not a bunch, I have, like, four other writers, um, and they've done stuff, and, uh, yeah, um, 
on the Instagram, the post looks like that, like, specifically, so that people can share them. Because I found that, like, it was, like, um, you know, like, what, like, Keyword Magazine is? Uh, not exactly. It's a rock magazine that's been around since the 90s. It's actually cringe. But they have an Instagram page. Basically, you can find this on, like, any ma- magazine's Instagram. They just post pictures of whatever, like, from whatever article they post. But with the Keto Press, it's set up in a way that you can have a clear post of what the article is about. And so that when you share it, people can see and click on it and be interested in stuff. So it's very visual, very interactive. Like, I just took the concept of, like, an online ma- rock magazine and, like, really made it, like, an online ma- rock magazine. That's awesome. Thanks. <laughs> so. Then, sorry. Oh, no, no, continue. Uh, okay, I was just going to talk about the Spotify. Um, there's a Spotify account with all the playlists and stuff. There's some murder playlists. Um... I guess post for like when I interview people, I ask them to make a playlist for us, and there's like a new release um, playlist as well, and then there's something I started today actually called You Should Be Listening, it's a weekly list of 10 artists that I, I just like, and, I, and so that gets updated on the Spotify scene, and yeah, because it's very, it's a rock figure, so the music comes first. So that, so that is like the most important thing, you know, the music, so that's why the Spotify is really important to us too. Alright, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, you said you had, um, four other writers you work with? Yeah, uh, yeah, they're really cool people. Um, so, what you have to know and understand is that New York Mafia is, is, is Canadian-based, right? Canadian-based. That's not how you say that. <laughs> Canada-based. But it has reached people, like, all over the globe. So, some of the writers, okay, so, like, Lori, he is British, and he's written for us. And he's a drummer. He has his own band as well. And then there's Matt, and she, she's in Germany. Uh, she's writing for us as well. She's doing a review. And then I have a friend called Nina. She's so cool. She's in New Jersey. And then there's Kenzie, and she's in Portland, could be wrong, somewhere in the West. And, and then, you know, um, basically it's just like these bands come mostly from Canada, but I also have some, some like down in the South that know mean stuff, one from California, so it's like people from all over uh, working with me and contributing to this, and it's a whole big thing, and we're all connected by social media, so it's really big, and yeah. And then, uh, I think uh, my final final question for the moment, at least, hmm. is, um, now, you said you're really into British bands, right? No, no, ca- Canada. Canadian. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Buzz, Buzz Kill is focused on the British bands, not me. Okay, because I, I was okay. about to say, um, I was about to ask the big question, you know, Rolling Stones or Beatles. Oh, Rolling Stones, Rolling Stones. Over the Beatles? Definitely not a Beatles girl. I oh. Rolling Stones, all the right. Stones. I love Big Jagger. I, I don't agree with it, but I respect it. Oh, well, you outnumbered, boy. Hmm? Sure. Hmm. I'm just indifferent to the entire mm. thing. I mean, like, listen, I am obsessed with 70s rock and roll. So please, ask me all you want about that. I, I know so much. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm the music guy on the show. <laughs> that Sean is... Music, poetry, those are my things. Especially the music. Oh, look. So, we got Sean and Pat. It's a specialty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, that's... You know, like, Led Zeppelin or something? Actually, it's like you read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you know, what are some other bands then from, uh, from the times that you really liked? Um, okay, 
Okay, well, I, uh, oh boy. Um, I love Jimi Hendrix. Um, I love mm-hmm. Queen. I saw them last summer, actually, Queen and Adam Lambert. Oh, that's that. awesome. I saw them in Madison Square Garden. It was so cool. What? What's your favorite Queen song? Um, Radio Gaga. And I know that's very basic, but it just makes me very happy. Hey, I, can't no. give me anything for basic. Huh. <laughs> oh. huh. A good yeah, classic yeah, choice. Here, here's a question for both of you. Mainly because I just want to hear the answer. What's y'all favorite venue? Venue? Venue. Hmm? Hmm. Um, I don't know. Um, do you want me to be honest? Go right ahead. Hmm? Okay, well, hopefully you don't judge me for this and you understand. Um, I don't go to that many shows. Fair enough. Mostly hmm? because um, I'm autistic. Fair enough. And hmm? I can't handle bright lights or loud sound very well. So it's very hard for me to go to all the shows I want to go to. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't. Hmm. Alright. So like I said, I was more just curious than anything else. So, Sean, what's your favorite venue? Oh boy, you, you gentlemen know the one venue we've all been together huh. to. Huh. Rapids. Uh. Yep. <laughs> oh. Niagara Falls Rapids Theater, when we went and saw. <laughs> Uh, well, technically, you and me saw two bands there, if you want to get technical. Which one did all three of us go see? Well, that was simple plan, but I'm not forgetting the I Prevail concert we went to there either, boy. Boy, we've seen quite a few there. Uh, I've only seen three. I don't know what you on about. No, wait, that was Pat, my bad. Oh... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who is unfortunately not with us here tonight. Uh, rip. <laughs> um. My fav- my favorite venue would be the one where me and my brother went up to Buffalo and watched uh, Fall Out Boy with um, some other bands as well along with it. Oh, that's Key Banks. Yeah, I don't know, names of venues. Uh, um, any other questions? Um, well, what up? Sounded like, uh, Cherry was about to say something. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Oh, <laughs> sorry, no, it's okay. Well, I was just gonna say, like, in the future, uh, there's, uh, you know, when live music starts again, I want to try my hardest to go to all the shows I want. It's just. <laughs> Because of my sensory issues, it's really hard for me, but I'm going to try my hardest because I love like, all these small bands so much, like Fear Patrick. Like, uh, they're the best, really. They are so, so good, and they're such just kind guys, and I love them. Like, if anything, like, you should just get into New Rock Mafia because they are what's happening. Like, they are the real deal. Like, they have the talent, and they have the heart, like, 100%. Alright. Uh, yeah. Any, uh, bands you want to give a shout-out to? Um, I feel like I said them all, really, <laughs> but... Like, all my, like, main ones that I just adore. Um, you know, like, New Rock Mafia, you know, uh, Cleo, Big Patrick, Dick Vitale, Ray the Prince, and then there's a very few, they're not in... New York Mafia, but like, no friends. Like, basically, it's so cool. Because, like, New York Mafia, it's a rock group thing, right? But we're all very supportive of each other. We're all friends. And we all just want everyone to, you know, go with their projects, you know, with their bands and stuff. So, it's really nice in that way. It's a very safe, uh, open environment. And I think that's very important to have in a music scene, especially in a rock music scene. 
So I feel very lucky to know all these bands, to know all the people that I know. And, you know, because they're really nice people. Um, so yeah, there's period view. They're associated with them too. And then there's uh, period view are from Georgia. They're not Canadian. And then there's hometown and young. And they're from California. They're really nice too. Really good, really good music. So yeah, just those five bands to start you off. All right. I mean, I know, I know you've suggested them to me. Oh, my bad, Sean. No, no, you're good. Go ahead. No, I was basically like, I mean, I've I've listened to most of the bands, but that's because I've, when I've done the album recommendations, I've like, come to her as well. Oh, okay. And I just never shut up about these bands, so mm. that's all I tell Taylor. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think I got the list now. Oh. Most certainly. Just uh, jo- join me in Kirky, Sean. Just listen to the albums. I don't know if I can do an album a day, though. Uh, Kirky doesn't do an album a day. That was only me. And even then, I'm not doing that uh, currently. I'm, I listen to, like, maybe, like, six albums in, like, a three-day period, like, once a month. So, like, crazy, Taylor. Uh, yes, we're aware of this. At least most people are. Let's get a, let's get a count. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 but most of the people aren't here. Those who know Taylor's crazy that are present say hi. I. Hi. I'm, I'm not sure what to say here, though. <laughs> Oh, um, that's two for four, Sean, so that's about half. Well, Taylor knows. He's uh, 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 I'm not denying anything. Uh, we could go through the list back in, back in the last. It was like, what was it? Twelve albums a day? <laughs> Something like that? Oh, boy. Uh, you were there. I know I showed you. Yeah, I was your roommate for part of the time. Uh... Not for the album list. No, because I started that junior year. You was you was with Tony. Technically, your senior year, if you really want to get at it. I don't have any other questions. Anyone else have any questions? Any last, last comments? Um, so, here's a question. Um, so you know how you have the Instagram for the Cheetah Press? Yep. Have you thought about expanding to a Facebook page as well? Oh, it has a Facebook page. It has, like, all the social media. Sorry, I, I should have been more clear about that. Oh. I say the Instagram page because that's, like, the most updated and the most interactive. And the Facebook page currently just is more like uh, a link to the articles, well, you get the full experience from the Instagram and the site itself. Okay, well, I mean, if you want to, if you want to send me those links as well, I'll be sure to put those in the thing as well. Yeah, of course, I mean, it's really just fun, it's just like the Cheetah Press on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, bye bye. Alright. I'm up and running, so... All right. I keep yawning halfway. Words. I'm so sorry. That's fine. All right. Um. So yeah, it's all very easy to find. But I'll definitely like you. All right. Uh, it was good talking with you, and I thank you for coming on the show. Yeah. No. Thank you. Thank you for letting me ramble about like poetry and rock music. Like I can do this for hours. It might not make much sense, but know that I love these things like, with all my heart, so... Oh. Hey, never get tired of talking music. <laughs> you, Sean, <sure> never. <laughs> Alright, and in that case, we will see you in the next episode uh, next month, so see y'all next, to- next time. And, and also, if, uh, if you're listening and you want to uh, submit anything... Yep, you can do so at flashfiction913 
three at gmail dot com. That's flashfiction nine one three at gmail dot com. Until next time, guys. Yep. See ya.